take the overall dimension first. Here the length is 40 at the mid and each side you have 50. So therefore the overall dimension is 140 length. Then you have 35, 35 breadth. So together it is 70. Then you have the height as 20 and 40. So therefore the height is 60. We start with the front view. Forget about the top portion. Assume that there is only one block. Its height is 20. So make uh, that rectangle. Just uh, a 20 mm height and uh, 140 mm length rectangle should be drawn first. Let's draw this rectangle. Then you project this, leave 30 mm gap, add the breadth line. This breadth is total 70. So you draw this 70 mm line. So therefore, the overall length here is 140 length. 140 length, 70 breadth, this distance is 70, then the height is 20. You can make use of 45 degree line, use 45 degree line. Print is 70 the side view. Just to project this, you get the first line. So when you project this, you get the second line. So the 70 is brought uh, to the side view. Now look at the object. The object, uh, most of the detail it is available in the top view. So go to the top view, divide this as 50, 40, then remainder 50. Then divide this 75, 70 into 2 equal parts, that is 35, 35. On the 35 line, you place uh, just uh, distance of 20 mm. Place this 20. Place this 20 here. Similarly, the same 20 can be placed here. Total is 50, therefore the remainder is this distance is obviously 30. So connect uh, this with the uh, end, then you will be getting this detail. So this is the top view for the bottom block. So it will be like this. Then you get the corresponding front view, project these lines to get the details on the front view. Here also you can draw one line. So you have the 20 rectangle, 30 rectangle. Then the next rectangle is 40 rectangle. This one is 40 rectangle. Once again you get uh, the 30 rectangle and the uh, 20 rectangle. Remember, you have to draw the top view first because here only you get the detail. You may draw this 30 rectangle, 20 rectangle, 30 rectangle, 40 rectangle, then 30 rectangle and 20 rectangle when you will project. Then you may join this, that is not correct. So first we draw the top view. Now you project this line and you divide this into two half. Okay? So you are getting the side view also complete. It's a complete shape of the side view. So now you draw the dark lines. Okay. Now remember you have one more block over this. Go to the second block. Just see the second block is comfortable only in the side view. So go to the right side. Right side view should be placed at the website. So 
try to capture this and uh, use the detail here. Here you have the T m of height. This overall length is 70. Here there is a division. This block goes up to 55. So 70 you make it as 55. At 55 you just draw one line. You just make this as a rectangular block. So this is a 55 length and 40 height. And I have this. Over this rectangle you place this 32. So you can take uh, 32. 32 is slightly smaller than 35. So bring it here and connect it. You will be getting the detail. This is the second detail. So second detail is with the height 40. This is 40. This is 40. Then you have 32 here, 32, then the overall length, this particular length is, comes to be 55, this length is 55. Now what you can do, you can just project this, you can bring it here. Then you can take the center of this object and you have to just see the breadth of the block. The breadth of the block is given as 20. So make use of this 40 mm height. Then you just draw this in getting this block. Similarly, you know you can project this to the top view. You will be getting this block. Afterwards, go to the side view. There is a breakup at 32. You bring the 32 here. You can mark it here. There is a split. Say for example, when you just project this on the top, you will get two small rectangles. One smaller rectangle and one lengthy rectangle. The smaller one is 23. Again, the remainder is 32. So therefore, 23 plus 32 is 55. Now you try to locate the circle of 520. Divide this 40 into 2 half, that is 20, 20. This distance should be 20 mm. This should be 20 mm. Then this 32 has to be divided into 16, 16. So finally, you will arrive at the center. So this distance is 16. You can place this distance outside, 16. Then with this center, you can draw the 20 mm diameter circle comfortably. So a 20 mm circle is drawn. Now you locate the center and you bring this center line to the top view. This is the center line supposed to be drawn to the top view. Afterwards, the circle is not visible in the top view. It should be represented by two hidden lines. You bring the first line here. Then you bring the second line. You bring the second line. So you specify that in line by two dotted lines. Again, go to the front view, represent the center line, mark these projected lines, use the dotted lines to represent this circle. Let's verify the dimensions. Say the first height is 20, the remainder is 40. Again, there is a break of 20, 20, the height. Then in the breadth, you have 35 plus 35. Mark this distance as 35. Obviously, the remainder will be 35. This is 35. 35. 
Once again, we have 155, 55 can be divided as 32 and 23 regarding the break. Regarding length breakup, we have 40. This is 40. Then uh, this 50. So obviously, it is a symmetrical object. So 50 will come to the other side. Again, specify this dimension, this particular dimension is 20. So the length breakup is complete for the bottom block. Go to the top block, the breakup for this particular distance is 20. So specify the 20 at the front view. So that it can be the preferred in the top view aspect.